Shot TV. I'm your host, Jez FM. Today we have an awesome guest. Her name is Maya. She has a great sound. It's electro pop funk, and her voice is richer than your mother's cheesecake. Here is a clip from a music video, Blackout. All right, guys, Maya, thanks very much. <laughs> All right, now we just had a look at your clip from Blackout, the music video. Can you tell us about filming that music video? Well, it was basically, came together quite quickly because we decided we wanted to release the song really soon. And I just kind of thought, how are we going to do this? I wanted light and shade because I felt like that was the main kind of storyline behind the song was this black and then light. So... We just sat down, Grace Moore and I, who did the video, and just chatted about ways that we could keep people excited while still giving a bit of a storyline. Mm -hmm. And we lost the storyline a little bit, which is hard not to happen in a video clip, mm -hmm. but yeah, I still feel like it, it comes across with the right energy. And would you like to tell us about what the song Blackout is about? Well, basically it's about getting through a black feeling inside of yourself and coming to terms with not wanting to always be in your reality. And I noticed it's really different to your music video, What After Now? Like that one's got a lot of colors yeah. and stuff and then you go to blackout and it's almost sort of black and white. Um, so tell me about the process kind of between making What After Now, what was that like? Well, making What After Now, my sisters are the two other girls in it. And I basically just wanted them in the video clip and wanted to have something that was just like a carefree thing. And it came out really puppy and happy and glammed and that was great but it wasn't necessarily exactly who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show in the next video that I was a little bit more real than that. Now you just came back from New York. Tell me about that experience. What were you doing over there? Uh, how long were you there for? I was there for six weeks in total mm -hmm. and I was recording, I recorded four songs that I wrote last year and it was really exciting. I, um, I got signed over there, which is still meant to be hush, but you know, you guys, <laughs> I can tell you secrets. Um, <laughs> Congratulations, that's Thank awesome. You. Thanks. Yeah. Probably get in trouble for saying that. But oh well. <laughs> I was wondering, what was the worst thing about New York? Because New York's got some funny stereotypes. What was probably mm. the worst thing about your experience in New York? I'd probably say just how inconsistent it is on the streets. Like my sister and I would be riding and walking everywhere because the subway is actually a bit of a drama. Like you can get stuck in between a carriage for like 45 minutes with no, I don't even know, space and I get a bit claustrophobic. So that's one bad thing. Mm -hmm. But I think just, I don't know, you turn a corner and someone will be like, hey, take all of my attention right now. You get no choice in this. And you're like, I'm doing something with my life as well, man. <laughs> Like, chill. It's a lot of energy. Like, I just, yeah, I can't. Like, you literally get one person like that in Australia, mm. like, shock you, I don't know, maybe once a year. But you go to New York and it's like, wow, <laughs> this is the city mm. that never sleeps. So now, Maya, we're going to play one of our favourite games. It's called Would You Still Play That Gig? Now, Maya, get ready. This is the best thing you're ever going to play, all right? What's going to happen is I'm going to pitch you a gig. It's going to have one positive and one negative aspect. You've got to tell me, would you still I play that gig? All right. Um, now, here's the first one. Your name's Maya. Maya, the department store, has asked you to perform for their Christmas sections. You know where they do the windows? Yes. Now, it's irritating because it clogs up all PTV, but they want you to do it and they want you to be dressed as an elf and be making toys for two hours in one of the windows. Do you still play that gig? <laughs> yes! Yes! Come awesome! On. Christmas spirit. <laughs> that proper Jewish way. Um, <laughs> <that> I am. <laughs> my grandma's watching this thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take down my yes. <laughs> All right, so number two, T-Pain has asked you to open for him, but he wants you to play the tuba in his set. Do you still <laughs> play that gig? 
T pain. <laughs> Causing a pain in my membrane. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just what? like. <laughs> Why wouldn't you play Why that game? Why not? Um, I don't know. I don't know. T pain. He's like always just like. I just feel like I'd mimic him too much. I'd <laughs> be like, hey, T pain. How you going? Be like, Maya. You're fired. All right, <laughs> 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 uh, Maya, thank you so much for playing. I'm Would sorry. you play that game? <laughs> <laughs>